So I bought this here steel FS110 for $200 used. And let me tell you, the guy sure didn't use it much. <laughs> it's absolutely mint. But I bought it for use as a brush cutter. So the first thing I did was put this here blade on. But I did not like the, the regular shroud that came with it. So that was the first thing that, that I took off because it got hung up on everything. So for a half a day, I ran this without any shroud, but that wasn't very conducive to work either. So while I'm working, I came up with this idea. Now this is aluminum, which you can cut with a chop saw. So I had this piece laying around. That's what the cross section looks like. So all I did was I cut this piece 45 degrees on both sides. I left enough room on top that I could bolt it on. It was a very simple build. Yeah, because this is double sided, I had to drill out these holes a little bit so the bolt would fit through. So this is actually attached to this side right here. I still have the spacer plate in between there with all four bolts. And this thing works beautiful in the bush. So most of the cutting I do, I do on this side, but for anything, I would say two inches and smaller, I can still use this side. And if I do get a little bit of kickback, this will save me. And secondly, I can use this bottom side to pull little trees out of a hang up. So a lot of times when you cut a tree, it'll fall over, but it'll hang up immediately. So you use this backside just to pull the tree back if you catch my drift. So yeah, if you got some aluminum kicking around, build yourself one of these instead. And it also acts as a kickstand. So for starting purposes, I can have it flat on the ground, I can rev it up and the blade is actually not touching the ground. So I believe yeah, this is probably five inches across this way. And this, I don't know, probably about, oh, hang on. I got a measuring tape here. Give me one second. Give me some measurements. Okay, so it's 10 inches wide. And if you will cooperate, Okay, I said five inches, it's actually four inches. So if you find some aluminum like this, that's four inches wide, you can easily build one of these. All right, have a good one, humans.